guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be doing kind of a talk through, get ready with me tutorial situation. I'm gonna be using the Kathleen Lights and Morphe eyeshadow palette. I had so many requests from my other video about this palette, like my review and swatches video about this palette, to do a tutorial and a look using this palette. And I've gone back and forth as to like if that's the right thing to do because it was like sold out immediately and then it was gonna come back or maybe it wasn't or who knows and it's up in the air and at the time that I post this I don't really know what the status is gonna be but I do know that a lot of you guys picked up the palette so it would be helpful for you to see like a look that you could make using the palette that's that's my reasoning that I'm kind of that's where I'm at right now with this so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and just create this look for you guys I have no idea what I'm gonna be doing so we will find out together. You'll be able to see in the thumbnail, I'm sure. Um, so I've already done my brows just because I like to have that done before I come on camera most of the time because otherwise it's not cute. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prime my eyelids with this paint pot in Lay and Low. I'm so boring. I've used this paint pot for like years. Not the same one, but like the, you know, the same shade. And like this has been my eyeshadow primer for so long, like maybe since I started my channel, I've been using paint pots to prime my eyes. And I know that like, I, I don't know, paint pots just like, eyeshadow primers in general just seem like such a basic thing that isn't really that fun to change up, you know? And like, it's kind of like, you have to use what works. So it's like, I feel like a lot of the other products that we use change, you know, like one month I'm using this highlighter and then the next month I'm obsessed with that one and foundation's always changing and stuff, but primers I feel like just kind of stay the same. Eye primers, anyway. Okay, excuse the messiness that is my palette. <laughs> um, I'm gonna be doing my transition shade and for that I'm gonna mix this kind of mauve color with this matte kind of like grayish color and I'm just gonna stick that in. This is gonna be really interesting because I don't have a mirror. <laughs> this should be fun. I'm not really sure how this is gonna turn out. This is, all kinds of stuff is up in the air right now. <laughs> I don't know what look I'm doing. I don't have a mirror, can't see what is going on. Oh, just to add a little bit more suspense into the mix, my uh, camera, my SD card is like nearly full and I don't have my computer with me to like offload stuff. And in addition, <laughs> as if we needed more complication here, um, I only have one battery today. I'm really living on the edge today. I don't know. I don't know what the deal was with that. It was like a weird day, you guys. Like, I come to my mom's house to film, right? And it's my house, like, it's just, there's not good lighting and there's nowhere to film. Plus, she plays with Axel while I film, so, you know, otherwise it would be kind of impossible. Um, I'm like falling off my chair. That was really, that was really silly. Um, so anyway, I had come to her house f to film and I was like about to leave to come here earlier and she texted me and was like, so um, the power just went out <laughs> and I have to like power my light and stuff so I can't film if the power's out. I was like, okay, so I was planning not to come and then after a while the power came back on and I have like very little time between now and like having to pick up Levi from school 30 minutes away. So I'm like, okay, we're gonna film some stuff and it's a little bit rushed, but it's it's okay, it's gonna be fine. So next for my crease color, hmm, what to do, what to do. I could go in a few different directions with this. I feel like I could use this in my crease and go with like a cool toned pinky cranberry situation. What would I put on my lid then? I don't know, and then I could also put this in my shade and go for something a little bit warmer in my shade. What am I talking about in my crease? But I think since I've already done kind of this mauve, I think I'm gonna go with this kind of cranberry shade on the end here. And we're just gonna stick that in the deeper crease area. Okay, found a mirror guys. It's really small, but we're gonna make it work. So I'm just darkening up that crease with this nice matte shade. Uh, I've been really impressed with this formula, you guys. I know I kind of touched on that in my review of this palette, but um, I've been impressed with the formula. It's really, really nice and blendable, creamy, smooth. It doesn't skip. like. It's not patchy, everything. It seems really, really nice. By the way, I'm using, I think this is a Morphe? What is this? Morphe M433. Um, because this is like a makeup look, I'm gonna actually have my blog post list everything that I use and also like any of the brushes that I can find to link um, will be listed on there as well. So how's your Christmas shopping going, guys? Right now, it is November 30th, and my goal is to have all my Christmas shopping done by December 9th because we are going out of town, um, my family and my parents and that family, like 
my family and then my family. Um, we're going out of town together on a vacation and so I'm hoping to have all Christmas shopping done by that day because after we get home it's just gonna be like hit the ground running, everything is gonna happen way too fast. We have my dad's birthday the day after Christmas and then the day after that, the 27th, is Levi's birthday so yeah. It's, it gets crazy, so I want to have it all done so I can enjoy the vacation and not be stressed out about like Christmas shopping and stuff like last minute, so it's going okay. I would say I'm like 60% done. Not too bad. Next for my lid, I'm going to use this kind of golden shade right here. Um, I'm going to spray my brush and use it wet just because I like the way that it kind of gives it an extra shine. I don't have Fix Plus with me, so I'm using this um, The Mist by La Mer. Oh, I need my mirror. Anyway, so I use that mist sometimes when I don't have my Fix Plus with me and it works just fine. So I'm just going to pat that all over the lid. I'm going to focus it in the center though because I might, mm, let's see, I guess I'll put it all over the lid. So I really like that spray. The only thing that bothers me is like, I used it for, I like used it for something where I was like traveling with it. And uh, now for some reason after, after that, like the sprayer is a little bit wonky. I don't know if like it got jumbled too much while it was in my luggage or whatever, but the sprayer is like, it's never quite been the same, which <laughs> I'm really sad because it had a really good spray. Then I'm taking just a little bit of that kind of cranberry shade that I used in my crease and just touching the corners, like the inner corner and the outer corner, just to give the eye look a little bit of dimension. I'm gonna also kind of blend in the crease area like this and do that on both sides. I just like the way that it shapes the eye a little bit to add a little bit of darkness on the like kind of outer corner, a little bit on the inner corner, and then of course, making sure everything's nice and smooth in the crease. Next, I'm gonna highlight my brow bone with this kind of um, shimmery, kind of like a, I don't know, it's like a vanilla sort of shade. It does have a little bit of like champagne almost in it, but not super pink like champagne, I would say. Um, it's really nice though, and I like the way that it complements the gold that we have on the lid here so I'm just gonna touch the brow bone with that quickly and then I'm gonna do my inner corner highlight if I remember um, after I do my foundation and everything just because I feel like when I do like my under eye concealer it messes with the inner corner and I don't I have to go over it anyway so it's like might as well just wait okay now that I've done my foundation and my under eye concealer I'm gonna go ahead and finish the underneath of my eyes before I do the rest of my face like my blush and stuff like that so I'm gonna take this um, brown pencil by makeup forever it's one of their aqua XL pencils this is the shade m60 and I'm just going to do my waterline with that guy I love these pencils so much they're like the best waterproof pencils for the um, waterline. I love it. Okay, and then on this kind of smudger brush, I'm gonna take that same cranberry shade that we used in the crease, and I'm just going to do the lower lash line with that, and then I'll blend it out in just a second. Um, but I really like the way that it looks with the brown on the waterline, and then this kind of cranberry shade bringing it down toward the lashes a little bit. I just really like kind of that combination. I think it looks really pretty. And with the same kind of golden shade as I used on my brow bone, I'm gonna highlight the inner corners there. So I'm gonna kind of bring it in, or sorry, bring it like outward to blend in with this lower lash line color. I'm doing just a soft inner corner highlight, nothing too crazy. And same on the other side. Now I'm gonna take a pencil brush and just blend out that lower lash line. I like it to be really nice and diffused down there. And I really like to bring my lower lash line shadow. I like to brent, blend, blend. I like to blend it down quite a bit. I have really long lashes on my lower lash line and so I feel like I like the look of kind of having that color come way down. Now for my mascara, I'm gonna use this Makeup Forever um, Excessive Lash Mascara and I'm just gonna do my top and bottom lashes and I cannot really talk very well while I'm doing this because I'm like trying to focus. Okay, and for my lip color today, I wanted to do something kind of fun and a color that I really don't wear very often anymore and this is the Bite Beauty. This is one of their amuse-bouche lip duo situations. Um, I like the purple so much. It is so me. Um, it kind of goes with the tones that I'm wearing, so we're gonna wear that guy. It's kind of hard to apply, like this tiny little bullet. I'm gonna try my best, but if I have to cut this out because it's embarrassing, 
don't be mad. The only thing I don't love about this lipstick formula is that I feel like it's a little bit less forgiving of the fact that I have really dry lips than some formulas, but like it's really comfortable on my dry lips and I feel like it's nourishing, but you can kind of see like the dark areas, you know what I mean? But that's okay. Um, maybe you're far enough away that you can't see. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try to put this opal shade over the top. I think that's what you're supposed to do, but I haven't used it yet, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Oh, wow. That's pretty. I really like that lip color. Ooh, I like it, it's so fun. I kind of feel like it's Christmas even though it's not like red. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look and kind of this chilled, relaxed vibe that I have going on with this chattiness. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Check out the blog post that corresponds with this video for a list and links of all the products that I used and mentioned. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the look and I'll see you very soon in my next one. Bye.